so be strong. Okay, all right. Thanks, Nibir, for giving us those details. Hindus are being persecuted in Bangladesh and temples have been desecrated there. There have been idols that have been defaced. Houses have been vandalized and Hindu devotees have been assaulted. These atrocities are causing a deep concern in the Hindus across the globe and in India. In particular, the Bangladeshi authorities have cracked down on the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Last week, there were three ISKCON monks, Chinmoy Krishnadas, Ranganath Sami and Sundar Das, Ru, Rudraprod Kisab Das, they were arrested and this was followed by bank accounts being frozen and growing demands from the prominent lawyers in Bangladesh to ban the organization. All right, uh, joining me on the telecast is uh, uh, a very special guest. He is uh, going to speak to us. We have Prashant Mukundas. He is the international spiritual leader. Uh, sir, thanks for joining me on the telecast. And what do you think? Uh, has resulted in the current uh, deteriorating situation of the Hindus in Bangladesh? I think that uh, the basic problem is that uh, they do not know about the complete information that what ISKCON people are doing. And that's why they think that uh, ISKCON is doing some, uh, some difficult situations in Bangladesh and that's why people are against to ISKCON. Where ISKCON is feeding to people, ISKCON is providing food to the necessary people, ISKCON is giving education to the ISKCONs like youth for youth of the India and youth of all over the world and ISKCON has more than 950 temples around the world and uh, they are following the Bhagavad Gita, the most uh, important and the prime uh, book which is noble book which has been read by the great scientists and the saints of India and around the world and that's why they do not know what is the importance of ISKCON, what ISKCON has done in last so many years. Srila Prabhupada, the founder Acharya of ISKCON, in 1965, he started from India and he went to West America and established ISKCON so that people around the world can know the importance of Bhagavad Gita and they can read and they can change their lives. So we are bringing the smiles on the faces of different people. Instead of people are thinking that we are making uh, some people against some religion. No, we are not fighting against any religion. We are accepting all the religions and we, can, we are propagating the peace all over the world actually. So this, this information is not with the people and that's why people become against to the ISKCON society and they create all this what is happening. Do you think this is a planned conspiracy to paint Hindu priests and uh, term them as terrorists, uh, which is a narrative that is being spun wrongfully. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, what narrative is going on. It's actually, it's not like that. The, uh, the ISKCON people have already last 10 years has distributed food to many Muslims and helped in Bangladesh. But now, uh, because of some other things from other countries, people are thinking the narrative is coming that uh, that this is Hindus are joining hand in hand and they are dis and they are disturbing the minorities in the Bangladesh. But actually, this is not the case. ISKCON has never done anything against any minority. We are not political people. We are the people, those who worship Krishna, those who worship God, and we want peace all over the world. And that's why we accepted people from Pakistan, people from Bangladesh. In Pakistan, we have more than 12 centers where we are preaching the Bhagavad Gita in the Urdu language. So how can the ISKCON people um, become against to some Islamic or some other religion? We are accepting all the religions. So this narrative which is playing that this is a quarrel between Hindus and Islamic people. So it's, it's a wrong which is perception which is carried forward in all over the world right now. Right. Uh, the former ISKCON priest Chinmoy Das uh, has been denied a lawyer and his case is being further pushed. Now, is there any assistance that can be provided to him by ISKCON or other Hindu organizations and uh, institutions? Actually, we want that on the basis of national news, we want that the support should be given to all the minorities, not only Chinmay Prabhu, yes to him and all the minorities, all the, all the Sanatanis, those who are fighting for their existence in Bangladesh. So the government of Bangladesh should provide as there are so many people in India, the minorities are living and they are getting the same rights as the other majority 
uh, people are getting the similarly the same rights should be given to each and every individual it should not be like that every day people in a mob comes in front of any temple and create so much of havoc actually uh, there should be a peace uh, this government should think about it and provide some solution so that this all settle down very soon very easily why do you think there has been uh, not a single global leader that has come out and condemned this attack against the hindus no the leaders are playing their roles internally but they have not come up on the national news till now but uh, because people might think that iskon is not a, a hindu society and that's why they might have think like that but iskon has done so much around the world and uh, contributing to the society globally and uh, so uh, leaders are actually working on the uh, internal levels because we know the news inside that yes so much of support has been provided to take out chinmay prabhu and to help the bangladeshi people but actually uh, uh, we don't know why the leaders are not coming up externally maybe because of the sensitive issues because if many things spoken about the bangladesh government the people right now are so headstrong they might provide they might give some um, some difficult situation for the hindus people those who are suffering right now and may they they take out their all guns and other things and they become against and there can be right right situation happening in india as well as in bangladesh to settle out um, these people the leaders are working inside but they have not come externally and speaking very loud now if this agenda of radical islamism is to succeed in bangladesh do you think india has to be prepared for an influx of hindus uh, moving back to the country um actually this this news has already been starting that people in the bangladesh have started moving towards india and we provide uh, the complete shelter to different people like uh, this all started with iskon like iskon has always provided a shelter to many people and uh, this is now nowadays the bhagavad gita jayanti is going on and the day when krishna spoken bhagavad gita to arjuna on the battlefield in 45 minutes the complete 700 shlokas of bhagavad gita so this is a time of distributing gita and which gita can provide peace to the community so we are we the india should welcome all the people those who are coming and as well as on the side by side they should try to prepare the grounds on bangladesh so that people can stay nicely and can cultivate their religion whatever they want the way they want because it's a secular country it's not like that the one one person can only follow the religion so they should provide the grounds and the platforms to uh, to worship whatever the way they want all right thank you prashant mukundas for joining me on the telecast and sharing your views on this subject now the external affairs minister dr s jay shankar has held a